Hello, I hope you had a great week. Today's tutorial is going to be uh, drawing a pipe fastener. This will allow to uh, allow you to create a fastener that can handle, I would say, pipes that are between uh, 10 to 25 millimeters. It's going to be an adjustable fastener. So to get started, go ahead and click on Pad Design. Click on Sketcher, select XY Plane. Click OK, and we should have our canvas. Go ahead and click on the circle tool. Draw one circle, and then draw the second one. Then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give them some radius constraint. The top circle, go ahead and give it 25 millimeters of radius. And then the inner circle, go ahead and give it 21 millimeters. Okay? Like that. Then uh, we can select the centers of both circles and then click on the coincidence constraint. We can move this around here. So let's try to move it around here. Okay. Once we are done drawing the circles, let's go ahead and click on the polyline tool. And let's go ahead and sketch. Uh, make sure these are straight lines. Don't mind about the dimensions yet. We shall put constraints in here to correct stuff. Yeah. Okay. Once we are done with our polyline tools, go ahead and click on that. Click on the outer circle and then click on that. Click on that. Click the out circle and click on that. Okay. You should be having something of the sort. Go ahead and click on the line tool, click on the inner circle, and then click on the out. So you connect them. Click on the inner circle, and then click on the out one. Then we are going to select this trim tool. Go ahead and trim off all this. Okay. So currently, uh, this is what we have. Now, now that we are done uh, with that, let's go ahead and create some uh, constraints. So click on this edge, and then click on this arc, and then click on this tangent constraint, okay? Then click on this, click on this arc, and then click on the tangent constraint. After you do that, click on this. Select these two. And make sure they are equal. Select these four. And make sure they are equal. Select this and this. Make sure those are equal. And then select this and this and make sure they are equal. Okay. Now that we are done with those constraints, let's go ahead and give get some dimensions. Okay. So let's do the vertical distance. Click on that and give it 10 millimeters. And then change this to horizontal. Uh, distance, click on that and give it 25 millimeters. Okay, so we have 10, we have 25, and then select these two points 
and then select the horizontal distance and give it three millimeters. Okay. <laughs> like that and then select those two points and then click on coincidence constraint hold on okay hold on we see okay let me first remove that constraint Uh, so let's see, we selected coincidence, everything. That should be fine. Okay, so let's select that and select one of those and select coincidence constraint. I was wondering why it was failing. So once you do that, uh, everything of yours should be constrained. Yeah, I'm not sure why it brought the error. Maybe I selected the edge by mistake. So this is fully constrained. Go ahead and click on uh, close and you should have a sketch like that. Uh, go ahead and click on the pad tool and let's give it around, I'll give it around 25 instead of 10. I change that to 25 and your pad should look this way. So let's twist it around. Click on that face. Click on the sketch and we should have something of this. So go ahead and select these construction lines. Click on that and click on that. Okay, I hope we're together on that. Okay, then go ahead and click on this. This is called uh, geometry construction. So go ahead and click on this. We shall be clicking on that first edge. So select the polyline, click on that first edge. We are going to actually create three segments. So you can click anywhere like that. Click anywhere like that, and then click on that last edge. So you should be having something of the sort, right? Okay. So after we do that, we're still on our we're still on uh, this drawing so let's go ahead and select all these three and make sure they are constrained if you had any any of them out of line uh, just make sure you have them straightened out okay so now that we are done with that, go ahead and click on the first edge and the second edge and make sure those are equal. Okay. Then we are going to draw some uh, circles. Okay. So click circle around there and then draw another circle around there and then select that point and that point and so the select coincidence constraint and set the coincidence constraint on that okay and then uh, what we shall do is we shall say select this circle and this circle and we say they are equal. Okay. 
So once we are done with that, let's go ahead and uh, give it some radius. I'll give it five millimeters. Okay. Like that. Okay. So now we're done with that. Let's go ahead and uh, select So we can select this and then click on that. We are going to select this. You see how it's looking? Let's do that and give this, I would give this uh, negative 12.5. Then I'll give this 12.5. I think we are good. I hope everyone can see this. So go ahead and click on close and we should have uh, our holes in there. Uh, go ahead and click on this pocket tool and just select throw and click OK. So you should have something of the sort. Okay, so we're we are done with that. I think the rest of them is just creating a, ch a chamfer. So we can select uh, all our edges. Like that. Make sure you're only selecting the edges. Okay, let's rotate this around. I think we have everything selected. So let's select the chamfer tool and uh, let's give it 1.5 and select OK. So we should have a drawing look this way. So uh, let's select this because this is a sharp edge. We can select this. Interested in this inner edge that and also give it a chamfer. Uh, what should we give it? Let's give it around three millimeters. So it smoothens this off out. Okay. There we are. Uh, we have our pipe fastener complete. Okay. We have our first. And we are done. Uh, it's complete. Now, let's assume you, you want to change uh, the thickness of the pipe uh, it holds. You'll just come to your model, go to your first sketch, double click on that, and this is what you'll see. So let's say, assuming you want to reduce this to hold a 10 millimeter pipe, you just go to the inner radius uh, instead of 21 millimeters, change this to 10 and click on OK and it should reduce. And if you go back to your uh, 3D, you can see it reduces to the 10 millimeters. If you 
want to increase it, let's say to something like uh, 20 millimeters. Or even let's say you want to increase it to 30. You can increase the top one, let's say first to 30 millimeters. And then increase the inner one, let's say to 28 millimeters, if that's the pipe you're having. And you should have something of a sort. But remember, you have to select that basing on the amount of body you're going to have in there, right? So this, you may have to increase this to 35, let's see if 35 holds. So to around 35 millimeters. So it will hold the pipe which is 25 millimeters and the outer radius is 35 millimeters. If we go back to our 3D model, you can see uh, our pipe fastener still stands. So uh, that's how you draw and this is ready to machine or print okay have a good day bye for now